Hello, good day everybody. So here's another exciting uh, file for assignment for uh, Sage 50 called data file link part photo part number two. So first go to your week number 10 where you will able to see photo part number two, chapter photo part number two. Click on the data link so you can download your file on your local computer. It says data file link photo part number two. Please click here and download. So click right here and download your file. Now click on the download on your right hand side. It will download your file in the download folder with the zip on it. So it will take a minute and it will download in your downloads folder. So it's right in here. Go to your downloads go to your downloads and you're able to see you have a zip folder right there you have a zip folder chapter part photo part number two zip folder right click on it and you cannot use this file you have to extract it before you work on your file so right click on it extract all and that will open up your give it a minute that will open up your files and then you're able to use it this is the thing which you're going to do with each and every file we have done so far we have to open up our folder so now you have a zip folder and you have a open folder double click on it double click on it double click again you're able to see photo and now you are able to see three items in here three uh, sec uh, two items are folders and one item is a file Double click on the photo, which is blue icon, double click on it, and that will open up your uh, your photo chapter part number two in Sage 50 program. And then that will prepare your file to work on. That will open up your program, your data file, which is called photo part number two. Date for this session is July 8th. So we are going to keep it for July 8th. Press OK. Now, when you press OK, your database is ready to work on. Now, you are able to see two icons, one here, receivables, and one payable. So please do remember that you are going to work in this part, both of these points, payables and receivables, one by one. So we'll read the question and we'll figure out which tab we are going to work under okay so take a look at one more time receivables we have clients client invoices receipts Karan comes to me sir what do you mean by when are we going to use receivables always remember guys when we sell something we receive money when we sell something we receive money so that means when there whenever there is a sales invoice we are going to put under receivables now uh, Karan asked me a question sir payables when are you going to use the payables once you click on payables, you are able to see suppliers, supply invoices, and payments. Whenever we buy something, means purchase something, then we are going to use payables. Sell, sale, receivables, purchase, buy, payables. Okay, so now we are going to work on both one by one. Okay, so let's start. First, we would like to read the question where's the question go back to your schoology go back to your schoology and go to the um, go to week number 10 and you're able to see the file over there as well where you're going to read the question the first question question number 13 because this is part number two so first question is sales invoice ps-395 dated july 7 2019 to top to Polar Discoveries, $2,270 plus 113.50 GST, 181.60 PST for tour customers. Photographs, invoice total, 2565.10, term is 210 and 30. So now, in this question, we have the word term given to us. We are going to understand first what is the meaning of a term. 210 and 30. So guys, whenever there would be a term, please always remember uh, the meaning of the term. Okay. So in this case, we have a term. What is the term? 
two ten and thirty. And how do we say that? I will give you two percent discount. So we use the word two. Two percent is discount. If you pay me full amount in ten days, so we use the word ten. So that means if you pay me full amount in ten days. Otherwise, pay me full amount, which is n, in thirty days. And always, whenever we have the term, the answer would be pay later. So this is the meaning of the term. Doesn't matter whatever term comes to your in your question, in the exam or in the quiz, the term. The answer remains the same. Pay later, and whatever term is, you can explain the term in this way. Answer would be pay later. So let we understand. We understood the question now. We are going to now do the question. Always remember, this is a sales invoice. So when this is a sales invoice, means we sell something. It is going to be under receivables. Okay. So client invoices. Click on client invoices. I click on client invoices, and now I'm going to punch in the basic information. First thing is payment method it's always pay later because we have the term invoice number what is the invoice number guys so ps-395 ps, -395. PS uh, invoice number then the date what is the date july 7th perfect and what's the name of the company polar discoveries perfect i click on polar discoveries then what did we buy we bought tour customer photographs punch it in tour customer photographs perfect and then is it one photo two photo four photos no there's no um, no number of photos given to us so there will be no per piece price the total amount is given to us which is 2270 punch it in make sure you are clicking on the tax why because we have two taxes given in the question one is gst one is pst we have four options First one is called no tax. Second one is G only, which is GST only at 5%. Next one, GST and PST. GST at 5%, PST at 8%. And IN means that GST and PST is included. In the question, in the question, it didn't say GST and PST is included. So that means we have to click on GP, select, and then go to the account. You're not going to change the account guys come out of the transaction how by pressing tab so i come out of the transaction let's take a look at one more time subtotal 2270 exactly as per the question gst 113.50 yes pst 181.60 yes total is 2565.10 yes 210 and 30 check one more time invoice number your date pay later everything looks good now question done no we're going to take a look at the report display revenue journal journal take a look at the report both sides balancing yes they are so that means we have done our first question now i am ready to post it the transaction was posted successfully okay close this window go back to your main window next question let's read the next question guys next question is payment check number 452 Dated July 7, 2019 to Lumbershed 1050 in payment of account, reference invoice number LS894. The discount period has expired. We read the question. Current comes to me, sir. This question is not solved. No, you have to solve this question. So, but this is, we know this is a payment amount. So, we know where the payments are, right? So, we know where the payments are. We are going to go into our payables and there's a payments right here click on it and this window will open it will ask you by the check how are we going to do it by the check what number 452 already there according to the question what is the date guys july 7th perfect okay now click on who is the company lumber shed click on it automatically once you click on lumber shed automatically this invoice comes on you do not have to create an invoice guys it automatically comes on click on the invoice click on the invoice and then use the tab button use the tab button which is on on your keyboard on top of caps lock so one time that will take me to the discount there's no discount as per the question and then the payment and then it says do the full payment of 1050 so we have done it come out of the transaction absolutely click one more time tab now Go to the comment section always remember do not leave the comment empty current comes to me sir what are we going to put it right here reference invoice ls 
number ls-894. Punch it in as per the question. Done the question? No, we're going to take a look at the report. We're going to take a look at the report. Click on report, display payments. Both sides balancing? Yes, both sides balancing. Perfect. Close this and then go post your transaction. The transaction was posted successfully. Perfect. Press OK. Done the question. Close the window. Go back to your main window. Question number 14 done. Then question number 15. Payment check number 453, July 7, 2019 to Riverton Garage 890 in payment of account. Reference invoice number RG1904. Same. This is a payment check. No problem. Go to payables and then payments. Again, check number 453 automatically comes on. July 7th is your date. Click on July 7th. Then, what is the name of the company? Riverton Garage. Riverton Garage automatically comes on. Make sure, now notice something, that you have two invoices. But in your question, you're going to work on only one invoice, which is RG-1904. Click on it. I click on it and then press the tab button. One time, there's no discount. Second time, the payment automatically goes there at $890. Then tab again, then tab again. You will see $80 comes here. Make sure you press the delete button. You do not work on the second uh, transaction. So come out of it. Okay. So tab again and go into the comment section. Make sure you have only one amount in here. Don't make a mistake. So what is the comment, guys? Reference. Invoice number RG-181904. 1904 is your invoice number. Am I, my transaction is right. Let's take a look. Go report, display payments, both sides balancing, both sides balancing. I'm good to go. Yes, now you can go ahead and post the transaction. The transaction was posted successfully. Press OK. Close this window, get out of your window, and read question number 16. Purchase invoice number SPS-4668, dated July 8, 2019, from Starlight Photo Solutions, $1,820 plus 91 GST for rolls of large photo paper for gallery prints. Take a look, only GST in here. Invoice total 1911, term is 210 and 30. Again, there's a term. So, whenever we have a term, guys, this is the meaning of the term, and answer is pay later. Perfect. So, we are going to work on this transaction. This is called purchase. So, if it is a purchase, we are going to go receivables and client invoices. So, answer method payment, pay later. Why? Because we have a term. What is a purchase invoice, guys? SPS. SPS-4668. What is the date? Date is July the 8th. Perfect. Okay. And who's the client? Who's the client? Starlight Photo. Notice something here. We do not have Starlight. Oops. Problem. This is a purchase invoice. So it should not be here. Why? Because this is a purchase invoice. When we purchase something, we have to pay. So it should be under Payables. Close this window. Close this window and go to Payables. So, Supply Invoices. And now, take a look. Pay later. Invoice number. SPS-4668. So, see how you made a mistake on this? We all made a mistake, right? So, please do not make this mistake whenever we have a purchase invoice. That means we have to pay. July 8th is my time, my date, and then the supplier. Now you are able to see Starlight Photo Solutions, which is already here. Click on it, and then item description. What are we buying, guys? We are buying a rolls of rolls of large rolls of large photo paper for gallery prints. Okay, how much? One, two, three, four. We don't know. So this is an amount. How much is the amount? $820. $1820. And it's only the GST. 
come out of this transaction and you're able to see only the G. Why? Because it's only charged to GST. Now take a look at your numbers again. Subtotal $1,820 according to the question. Yes. GST is 91. There's no PST. Total comes to 1911. Yes. 210 and 30. Take a look at the invoice number. Date again. Everything looks good. Yes. Perfect. Now go back and take a look at the report. I click on report. Was in balancing? Yes, they are balancing. Means my question is good. Now I can go ahead and post the question. So the transaction posted successfully. Done. Good. I am done with question number 16. Question number 17. Again, be careful. This is a sales invoice. Number PS396, dated July 18th to Kamir. Useful address for the new customer. Guys, this is a new customer, Kamir. Now, Karan comes to me, sir, where is this information of this Kamir? If you take a look on the side, you're able to see the full information about this client, the Kamir, which we have to punch in. What is the question? 1900 plus 95 GST and 152 PST for permission to use photographs on website. Invoice total to 147. Term is 210 and 30. Again, the term is given to us. Same meaning. What is the answer? Pay later. Perfect. Okay. So we read the question now. We're going to record the question. Where? In Sage. So go back to your window. Then this is a sales invoice. Means we are going to receive money. Click on receivables client invoices now first thing pay later yes what is the invoice number it is given to us ps-396 what is the date date is july 8th so now get and click here and current is looking for calm air calm is not calm air is not there guys so why calm is not there because we have to add calm air into our list no problem so write down the word calm air okay write down the word calm air and then press the tab button as soon as you press the tab button three windows will open one is continue quick add and full add in your question it says use the full add so click on full add press ok now it will open up this window for you to input the information about the calm air company what is the contact who's the contact so the name is Eri Fajal. Eri Fajal is the name of the person. What's the address? Address is 50 Jet Avenue. So where am I reading this information? From the paper which is given to us, Winnipeg, Manitoba. The paper means the one, the file which is open on Schoology. And then postal code. What is the postal code? R2P1 S7. Canada. What's the phone number? Phone number is 800-839-2256. What's the fax number? 204-476-5110. What's the email address? AF, under, AF at the rate of comair.com. What's the website? Comair.com. Client sends July 8th. So we have done this tab, which is the address tab. Next tab, ship to address. Nothing to change here, guys. So do not change anything. Then the options. Revenue account in our Schoology, where the chapter, where the paper is given to us. It says choose the account number 4170. Click here and look for 4170. Can you see 4170? Yes. Revenue from copyrights. Select that. And then 210 and 30. Everything is good. In here, payment method, pay later. Nothing to change. Only one thing. Select the account number. Taxes. We're not going to put that uh, change any taxes because it says GP. So we're not going to change anything. Pay authorize, credit card, statistics. Under statistics, you have to give them a limit of $8,000. So you have to do $8,000. Memo, import, export. Nothing to change. Save and close. So automatically the information you punch in for come here automatically comes here. Now, what is the question? Question is, what are we buying, guys? In there, we bought, we sell, sold actually. So what is that? Permission. 
to use photographs on website. Perfect. How much is this? Right? One photograph, two photograph? No. It doesn't mention. So we are going to use the amount. How much? $1,900. GP automatic comes there. Account comes here. Then come out of your transaction and you're able to see subtotal is 1900 GST is 95 152 PST and total comes to 2147. All of these numbers comes according to your question. Yes, 210 and 30. Check it again. PS 396, July 8th. I'm good. Now I can take a look at the report. Take a look on the report. Both sides balancing. Yes, they are. So now I'm ready to post it. So go post it. The transaction will post it successfully. Close this window. Go back to your main window. Question number 17. Done. Now, question number 18. But before question number 18, guys, there is something very important. It says in here, session date, July 15th. So we have to change the session date for July 15th. Perfect. No problem. We can do that. Where is the session date? Go back to your original window. Here is the session date. Click on it and pick up July 15th. Press OK. It will ask you. It was backed up on July. Would you like to back up your data? You probably would not be able to see this. So press no, right? So you do not want to back up right now, but it will change your session date to July 15th for now. We're going to back up the data at the very end. Perfect. So now my July 15th date has been changed. Read the question. Receipt number 42, July 9th from Litman Mercy, check number 29 for $2,325.54, including $47.46 discount for early payment of invoice PS-393. That is question number 18. It's a receipt. So if it is a receipt, guys, take a look where the receipt says. Let's take a look at together. Go to your original window and you're able to see receivables and you're able to see the receipts. Click on it. This receipt has already been made, so you, you just have to find it where is it okay click on receipt now punch in the information so you're able to find the receipt check number 29 punch it in receipt number 42 from mercy litman okay it's automatic comes here july 9th okay we need to make the payment perfect click on the receipt number click on the invoice number click on the invoice number Oops. So Mercy Litman, click on the invoice number, single click, check number 29 and uh, 42, July 9th. So I click on the receipt number, press tab. It will take 4746 discount. It will do the total amount as well, which is $2,325.54. Come out of this transaction. You come out of this transaction. Do not leave the comment empty. Okay, so what would be the comment? Early payment of invoice number. What's the number? PS-393. Perfect. Done the transaction. Yes, but take a look at the report first. I looked at the report. Both sides balancing. Yes, they are balancing. Now I am ready to post my question perfect so i can post my question the transaction was posted successfully press ok close this window done now again go to your schoology perfect we are going to read from schoology okay so we are going to read the next question from schoology let's take a look uh, sales invoice number PS-397, question number 19, dated July 9th to Kandinsky Party, 4600 plus 230 GST, 368 PST for wedding photo package with DVD. Invoice total $5,198, term is 210 and 30. Create new revenue account, 4150 revenue from weddings. Allow the customer to exceed the credit limit. So, credit comes to me, sir. Here we have term. So, what does that mean? This is a pay later. We have to create a revenue account for 150. Kind of notice something as well. The name of the account and also the number of the account and the name of the account is given to us. 
he noticed something which is called allow the customer to exceed the credit limit please watch this message at the very end let's punch it in this is a sales invoice so if this is sales invoice we are going to receive money perfect okay so go back to your original window receivables uh, client invoices now so what is the term pay later what is the invoice number invoice number ps-397 what is the date july 9th and then the client what is the client guys client is kandinsky party okay what are we buying from kandinsky party a wedding photo wedding photo package with dvd perfect how many dvds do we have the information no so that means this is a package so this is an amount 4600 and then we need to put gp why because we have the gst and psd but in accounts we have to create a new account which account 4150 let's figure it out where is 4150 do we have the 4150 no but we have a button called create so click on create punch in the number 4150 and the name what's the name guys name is revenue revenue from weddings that's the name of the account perfect press the next button until you see the word finish one two three four five six and seven you're able to see the word finish your account has been created now come out of the transaction check your numbers 4600 subtotal 230 368 5198 these numbers are according to the question yes 210 and 30 check your invoice number date one more time everything looks good yes report take a look at the report so both sides balancing yes but guys please notice something Did you notice we have to read the last allow the customer to the last line says allow the customer to exceed the credit limit where is that message now when you post it that message will come on click post and it will come on answer the question this revenue will cause the client to exceed the credit limit are you sure you want to process this transaction answer is yes because in the question it says allow the customer so we allowed and we press yes the transaction was posted successfully press ok done my question number 19 is done close that window go back to your original window next win next question question number 20. so receipt number 43 dated july 10th from bandron art gallery check number 28874 for six thousand eight hundred sixty five dollars and 88 cents and full payment of invoice number ps391 with 140 dollars and 12 cents discount for early payment no problem this is a receipt guys so easy peasy problem click on receipt then the check number is already given to us what's the check number 28874 then receipt number 43 yes what is the name of the company brendan art gallery as soon as you click on brendan art gallery you have the invoice number automatically comes there click on it and then press tab so $1040.12 and then total comes to 6865.88 yes comment never leave the comment empty guys what is the comment full payment full payment of invoice ps dash ps ps dash 391 okay both sides balancing let's take a look report display receipts what's in balancing yes they're balancing i'm good now i can post the transaction was posted successfully press ok close this window go back to your original window question number 20 done question number 21 receipt number 44 july 11 2019 from geraldine robin certified check 302 for 2495 in full payment of account of replace nsf check reference invoice number ps377 and ps381 so that means there would be two invoices let's do it so receipt receipt number 
Uh, first, the check number. The check number is given to us already in the question. 302. Punch it in. Receipt number 44. Now, from the name of the company, Gerald and Robin. Perfect. Click on it. Both invoices comes on. Click on the first invoice. Tab. No discount. Then, it's $800, as it says in the full payment. Then, the next one, and 1695 full payment. Both payments done. Total comes to 2495. This is according to your question. Yes, it is. Then the comment. Never leave the comment empty. The references, invoice, number, PS-377, and PS-381. Perfect. Take a look at the report. Both sides balancing. Yes, both sides balancing. I'm good. Now I can post my transaction. The transaction was posted successfully. Close this window. Go back to your original window. Question number 21. Done. Question number 22. So in here, recalling a stored sales entry means we are going to recall this, this entry or this transaction is already made. Now let's read the question. Credit card sales invoice PS-398 dated July 12th. Sales summary to various one-time customers. In here, guys, what's the name of the company? Various one-time customers. Passport photos 130, portraits 1200, GST 6650, PST 10640. Total comes to 1502.90. So we are going to recall this transaction. This transaction is already made. Let's do it. In here. So. We're going to recall the transaction. How? Client invoices. Okay. And it will pick up automatically. First, go to the client. What is the name of the client? One-time client. So one-time client automatically goes there. But it's a credit card. Sorry. Uh, we have to find this invoice where we have to adjust this invoice so we're not going to create an invoice close this window and we are going to adjust so client invoices small arrow adjust invoice which invoice we are looking at press ok and you are able to see the invoice number invoice number july 3rd mercy litman cancel it when you are looking for the adjust invoice, make sure the client name would be chosen as one-time client. Press OK. And this invoice comes right in front of you. One-time client. Select it. This invoice comes automatically in front of you. So one time, it's a credit card. So credit card should automatically comes on. Invoice number 394. So you're going to change it to 398. What is the date? July 12th. Perfect. July 12th. Then one time client revenue from passport photos. Yes, we have that. How much? 130. Change it. Press tab. Go to the second transaction. Press tab again. How much is the second one? 1200. Change it to 1200. Then press tab. Come out of the transaction. Now you're able to see the total comes to 1330. 6650 is your GST. 10640 is your PST. Total comes to $1,502.90. Yes, your invoice is right. Now, take a look one more time. Everything looks good. Invoice number, date. Now go report. Take a look. Both sides balancing. Yes, they are balancing. Done your transaction. Now you're ready to post it. Click on post. Your transaction was posted successfully. Press OK. Close this window. Done. Your work has been done, guys. We have done all our questions. Now we are going to close this window and back up. So close this window and it will ask you, do you want to back up this company before closing? Answer is yes. Press OK. In here, you are able to see my name because this is our part number two. Change it to your name. OK, so put your name, put your ID, HID. So whatever your ID is, then your class gb2s4 gb2s1 and photo part number two photo part number two that is important guys if you are not able to if it is says that you are not able to 
uh, save it, change the location to desktop in case it will say to you. Otherwise, it's completely fine. I am going to location. I'm going to save it here. Press OK. And it says, do you want to create it? And it is yes. I created it. It will process. And it will backup in a minute. Backup is in progress. It will complete. Uh, you will get a message. The backup will complete. Press OK. Now, it will close your window and it will take you back to where it is so it will be in download folder so go back to your download folder under backup you're able to see you're able to see your file you're able to see your backup file right in here so now you're going to change the extension how right click on it rename and it says cab change it to docx and also notice something it says backup number 21 no backup number two uh, photo part number two done and it will uh, press enter and it will give you a question uh, a notice are you sure you want to change it the press answer yes and that's done now you are able to connect this file with your email and send it to your teacher okay thank you very much guys this is photo chapter part number two Complete it as soon as possible and send it to your teacher. And thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care.